Hey everyone, so this is going to be a series, like a college series, and it's called Books and Backpacks because you know at college you use that, and my mom actually helped me think of this name, so shout out to my mom. I'm also going to use this for like back to school stuff, it's just going to be school related stuff, and I really want to help people with like how to apply to college and stuff, so I'll do more videos as I get closer to like applying and stuff like that, so let's get started. Hey everyone, so I know I'm wearing the same shirt I wore my last last video but it's okay. I was wanting to tell y'all some about like my college searching process or something. So I love Joy Wade's video. She makes a ton of college videos. I'll link her channel down below again. I know I talked about her in my last video but she's the best. I have like 11 colleges in mind right now. I'm going to a camp in July so I'm gonna try to vlog as much of that as I can. So I've been looking at schools and I have like a whole keynote on it and it's really popping show the keynote that I made but you know like, I'm kind of selfish like I'm gonna be real I'm kind of selfish and I'm kind of like I did a ton of research on this I'm a rising junior you probably already know that but I've been like looking at schools and stuff and Stephanie told me that you should probably start touring schools your junior year and start applying your senior year like at the beginning and stuff so the schools I have so far just so you know University of Miami Davidson College Duke University, Stanford University, UCLA, University of Tampa, University of Florida, University of Georgia, University of South Carolina, University of Southern California, and University of Chicago. The only thing is, I hate cold weather, but I've been getting some stuff in the mail from University of Chicago, but I'm just like, uh -huh. I guess the first step in your college journey just look up some schools that you're interested in. If you're getting stuff from some schools, look at those. Like I said, I've been getting stuff from University of Chicago. I went to some camps at University of South Carolina. So just start researching. Like that's the process that I'm at because for my junior year, I really want to visit some schools and stuff. But the only thing is these schools that I want to visit are like really far away. Do virtual tours if you know that the school is like really far away and make sure that's a college you're really really considering I really want to see if I can get in Stanford even though like the whole Brock Turner thing like I am so upset about that I really like Stanford as a school and it's very diverse and it's one of those prestigious schools look at how to get scholarships look at what you need to get in if you really want to take a look at my keynote you can always like message me on my social media I'll gladly like show you it I just like I'm kind of selfish and I'm kind of like well this is mine so let me like keep it to myself <laughs> and make sure you get good grades make sure your GPA is like where it needs to be to get accepted into these schools if you're in middle school or whatever I know I started taking high school classes in eighth grade so ask your school about like advanced classes and stuff and make sure you take AP classes take honors classes and stuff make sure like I said make sure your GPA is up there just see how many credits you have to have to graduate and honestly the high school counselors like, are terrible like every counselor that I've had is terrible my online school counselor was terrible too. My online school homeroom teacher, she was the best. She helped. So look up different camps for colleges and stuff, like different summer camps at these schools that you like. My mom is like amazing at looking up different camps and stuff. See if there's anything, any way, like get involved and stuff. Volunteer, beta club, NHS, do a resume and stuff. If you want me to make more videos about that kind of stuff, I definitely will. Don't just sit there and make good grades and do nothing else. I was in band from six grade to 10th grade but when I did online school I couldn't do it anymore I can say that I do YouTube or I am the founder of the OP fresh hangout and I do my modeling school and just different stuff that's like I'm involved in my community just so that you can like balance all the stuff and say like, I can take on a challenge I have a fun personality see when you can visit or when they have open house this video is just gonna be like the first of my mini college videos well I hope this helped some research and stuff like if you're older than me of course like visit schools apply apply for scholarships and stuff and like if you aren't thinking about going to college that's good too like not everybody has to go to college I've always loved 
teeth. I remember one time vividly, I had a loose tooth and me and my cousin, Shy, we were at my grandma's house and we literally tied the string around my tooth and were like slamming the door and it wouldn't come out. So I was looking at my scrapbook and there was literally like a picture and I was dressed up as a dentist and I still have the costume. I have my lab coat from Biomed. I've always loved the medical field. So just do whatever you want. Stephanie, she's a writing major. So like if you want to write, if you want to do fashion, I've always wanted to be a dentist. So that's just something that I'm very passionate about. Comment below what kind of field do you like or where you see yourself in like 10 years or whatever. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great day and night and I'll talk to you later. Bye!